Cullen Johnson Hill being crowned Miss Virginia in a 1994 pageant. She went on to be the Miss America runner-up the following year. Cullen Hill looks very, very different now as a 53-year-old who struggled with addiction and recently served time. She'll join us in a moment. She's opening up about alcoholism and her still difficult journey to sobriety. She posted this video on TikTok that has gone seriously viral. Um, my name is Cullen Hill, and this is what addiction looks like. So, um, I'm going to put this on TikTok because it's important. I am an alcoholic, and um, I've been struggling with this for since I was 24, and um, I just got out of 30 days in jail. Um, I thought I'd give myself a trim when I got out of jail, just to spruce it up a bit. But um, I'm okay. Um, I'm not okay, but uh, figuratively. I was in jail, and um, I had told them, this was for a second DUI, and I had had four and a half years sober. My husband is sober, and um, we got sober 12 years ago together, and um, he has stayed sober, and by the grace of God, I'm lucky that he has stayed with me. But um, for whatever reason, the devil keeps taking me back to drinking, and it's not worth it, so I'm done. It's not worth it. Raw, emotional. I was truly moved by this video. And she had a message for those struggling with addiction. I just wanted to give a message to all of you um, to let you know that there's hope. Um, I'm going to be okay. I have a wonderful son and a husband who loves me very much. But um, I just want to say, uh, please, if you are relapsing, stop. Um, I had four and a half years sober. I know what sobriety is like, and it's wonderful. Please just trust me. I, I've lost so many friends to this disease, and it's not worth it. And now Hill is going to do her best to stay sober. Colin Hill joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, first of all, uh, how are you doing, and what has the response to your video been like? Hi, Dan. Thank you so much for having me on your show. The response has been overwhelming. I uh, am trying my best to answer everyone that is writing me, and I'm overwhelmed with the, the gratitude and the love that's pouring in. And um, I have been able to answer everyone one-on-one -on -one, um, as fast as I can. But um, the response that I'm receiving is very humbling, and I'm getting responses from people asking, how do I help my my mother, my husband, my son, my grandmother? I have a boyfriend that's struggling. I have a friend that's struggling. I, I'm just astonished, and um, I'm so grateful because I feel like I have a purpose, and I, I never in a million years expected to receive I, I've only received maybe one or two snarky responses, um, but uh, every single person is just boosting me up and telling me, thank you so much. And I've received a, quite a few that are people that are afraid to go to meetings, and I'm encouraging them to maybe try a Zoom meeting or um, people that are just curious about meetings. And I'm explaining to them that um, there are things called open meetings yeah. where you, you can go where... Um, Anyone that doesn't have to be an alcoholic can go to a meeting, and sometimes people that are doctors go just to see what it's like, you know? Let me, so, let me ask you, what, what pushed you to make this video? I mean, you, you, you look um, better now than, than you did on, dur during, <laughs> that, <is> an <laughs> during that video. Um, you know, you. what led you to want to make that video and put yourself out in that way? I honestly was in my bathroom um, they say you have to have a spiritual awakening. I was so sleep depraved from being in jail. I withered to the floor in my upstairs bathroom, and I, I honestly just was like, I looked up, and it, I don't know if I was delirious, but it looked like the lights in my bathroom formed like a cross. And I, I was like, God, please help me. I felt spiritually broken, physically broken. My back was so sore, and I swear, like, my back, like, cracked. And I said, God, just help me. Use me as a vessel to help me quit being so negative with my life. Help me to do something good. I'm so sick of fighting with my family. I'm, you know, just estranged from my father. I'm 
estranged from everyone in my life. I'm sick of being just this, I'm sick of spewing venom. And it was just like everything had switched after my 30 days in jail. It was more than just being in there for the DUI. It was about me revisiting where my life had gone. You know, I, I was so disgusted with myself. And right after that, it was like I I just got up and I looked in the mirror and it it was like I went on automatic and I went and I just picked up my phone and I was like, that's it. I'm just doing this. You know, it's got to help somebody. And it was like I, I was just driven to do it and I did it. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.